Hey guys, it's Christian and welcome back to another episode. Um, I got this really good email from a girl asking about if it's okay for a girl to pursue a guy. And I answered her personally, but I wanted to answer it for you guys too because I thought it was a really good question. And basically she's saying this, um, that uh, what are your thoughts about a girl approaching a guy? I've talked to some girlfriends of mine, but I'm not sure what to think about it. Naturally, I see myself as a very outgoing person, and it's quite easy for me to start a conversation. Uh, and then she's also saying, I certainly don't want to be the only one uh, in the relationship doing the pursuing as a girl, and because she doesn't think that would be healthy in the long term. Um, she's never been asked out, had a guy show interest in her. In her. So she's saying, uh, is it wrong to approach a guy and start a conversation? And this is a really good question and I have some thoughts about it, um, some pretty strong opinions. So you can just take it or leave it. You know, I'm not an expert at this, I'm still trying to learn <laughs> what this means and trying to figure this out. So by no means do I have all the answers, but I'll just tell you what I think from a guy's perspective. And I think that there is really something to the guy being the one who is initiating the pursuit of a woman. I really think it's just in our nature as men to be just initiators and to be hunters. And there, there's just something really beautiful that happens when it's like a guy pursuing a woman, trying to win her heart, and she is the one who's responding to that. You know, there's this really cool and really beautiful dynamic. Uh, that happens like if both people would do the pursuit it just wouldn't be the same and um, that no that doesn't mean that as a girl you're passive you know you can totally strike up conversations with guys just I just for me personally I would not be comfortable if the girl asked me out on a date um, yeah I, I would definitely prefer being the one who did that and I've had women do that in the past they're really aggressive you know and it just never made me feel comfortable it was just something that I was just like well now what am I supposed to do and I also think that it, it can really make the guy complacent and a bit lazy if the woman is the one doing the pursuing and this is just something that comes out of it when we're the one that gets to pursue the woman and try to win her heart and uh, that's just really cool like it's really scary but really like awesome at the same time um, now obviously it, it's a mutual thing and it doesn't mean that you have to be passive as a woman there, I mean there's so many things that you can do just if you're interested in a guy you can just you know go up and talk to him and ask him questions just little things like that will just uh, especially asking questions be really something that will put you on his mind and he will at least consider you and then if he doesn't you know respond then I think it comes down to just knowing your worth and your value as a woman and just trusting that whoever that guy is that is in the end is going to be your husband that just trust that he will see you and he will go after you um, and pursue you because you're really worth it so I really think it comes down to that like I really think women are God's most beautiful creation and uh, if you really know who you are, then a guy, you know, the right guy, he will see that. So um, I also think it's there's something to, you know, marriage is a picture of Jesus' love for his church. And the husband is supposed to represent Jesus and the woman is supposed to represent the church. So just in the same way that Jesus is the initiator of the relationship, he's the one who pours his love into his church and the church responds with praise and worship. Um, so there, there are definitely a similar dynamic, not that the woman is supposed to worship her husband, like, you know, but you, you get the picture. It, it comes out of a response to the love that he's pouring into her. And I, I don't know, have you ever noticed that a woman who's just, just gotten married, they always look so beautiful if, if it's a good marriage, you know, they, because they have a man who's pouring in love. In, into them and that just makes them more beautiful and it's yeah just think it's just the same way with Jesus and the church 
So, um, I'm not saying that husbands are Jesus because we're certainly not perfect like he is, but that's the picture that we're trying, that we're showing the world with marriage, basically. Um, so, at the same time, while I do think it's the guy's, the guy's the one who is uh, supposed to be the initiator of the pursuit, there, I mean, every love story is different, you know, and God does something different every time, so I don't want to put something in a box too much because it's all about listening to him and what he's doing and just following that. That's the main thing I want to get across. I would just say this, if you're a woman and you're wondering like, well, should I pursue a guy or should I wait for him to pursue me? I, just ask yourself this, what is it that you really desire when you ask yourself, you ask your heart deep down? Is that to be the one who's pursuing the guy or do you want to be pursued? And whatever answer you have should be a really good indicator of what you should do because God really cares about your desires and you have those desires for a reason. So ask yourself that question and then um, I think you'll come up with an answer. But yeah, like I said, every love story is different and there's not like a rule book for these type of things. But in general, that's what I think. So thanks for the question and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, take care until next time. Bye.